Yo guys, it's Haunting Lime. Welcome back to the channel. Are you still having problem with Venusaur and Swampert? I know the league is ending, but this team will actually be the right one for you. Um, you don't have to use the team. Basically, this is a showcase of Gyarados being the best safe switch in Season 7 for the Ultra League Premier Cup. And my reasoning being why? Because Kingdra is known as the best safe switch and Gyarados beats Kingdra. So you're probably asking, well, Gyarados loses to auto loses to anything electric. Well, electric Pokemon tend to be at the lead. You got Galvantula at the lead, you got Ampros in the lead. Anything tends to, uh, that's electric tends to be in the lead. And also, Gyarados covers Venusaur and Swampert really well. Those cores, Gyarados basically spoils them. So, in combination with uh, Charizard and Swampert, this team covers pretty much the meta. And one of the reasons why I think it's the best safe switch, because you have sw safe switches like Kingdra, you have uh, Gallade, you have uh, Snorlax, you have Gengar, you have Drifblame, and I think Gyarados covers every all of them even better. So Kingdra, arguably known as the best one, but Gyarados beats it. It beats, uh, it helps to beat the Dragon Core. Um, Gengar is pretty good too, but it's very bait dependent and also need to use your shields. The thing about Gyarados in this situation, you don't need to use any shields at all. Yes, if you can win back switch, use your shield. But most likely the Dragon Breath damage is gonna really, really add up and oppress your opponent. And you can get to Aqua Tail or Aqua, uh, Aqua Tail or Crunch really quickly. And normally you'll get a, a shield from a Venusaur because it needs to do two Frenzy Bands take it out and obviously it resists the hydro cans from the uh, swampert so it's a really good coverage the flying typing and the water typing to cover the two main annoying pokemon of, of the meta yes arguably there's excel pokemon out there and it might not be the greatest in terms of dealing with them but this team has done phenomenally well for me it helped me reach rank 24 last season and now with Excel Pokemon still running rampant, this team is still performing really, really well for me as well. And I'm really close to hitting a veteran, and uh, this team has helped me all the way from 1850, where I used it as soon as the Ultra League came around to climb to climb up my way all the way to about 2450 right now, which I think is pretty good. And obviously I'll use different teams along the way, but I always keep coming back to this team because this is my personal signature team that helped me get to rank 24. And I absolutely love Wing Attack Charizard in combination with the double core of water in the back. I think double water in the back is super strong. Uh, it covers pretty much all the meta. And obviously you got you got XL Umbreon, you've got XL Skarmory, you know, a Shadow Swampert, ain't bothered about that. So yeah, let's go into the commentary guys. So onto a pretty decently, Dragonite hits pretty hard, being Shadow as well. So I will be able to outpace the Dragonite to um, the uh, Dragon Claw because the wing attacks generate energy pretty quickly. And I decided to try to sneak in an extra wing attack. And also having a um, wing attack is neutral damage compared to where Fire Spin would do resisted damage. And now my opponent has to probably shield this because this Dragon Claw is into quite a lot of damage. And he just, I do get the shield. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna throw as soon as I get to the Dragon Claw because I wanna force a second shield or force him force it to go through and now i can automatically switch into my gyarados and chunk the hell out of the dragonite and my opponent's staying in for some reason and yeah he didn't even throw a move i think he was trying to get to hurricane which makes sense but dragonite having dragon breath i was not dragonite gyarados having dragon breath really helps uh whittle down a lot of your opponents so my opponent actually has an xl um XL uh, G Fisk, which is a pain in the ass. I'm starting to see more of these now. I really hate XL Pokemon. Um, but this team, like I said, you don't need XL Pokemon for, and it covers everything in the XL department. Um, barring it's a little weak to Electrics in the lead. Um, but I have chain up Pokemon up recently. Uh, in my tomorrow's like my last battles for the day today which i've already done and my new lead which is going to be a crustle with the rest of the team actually helped me get to you veteran um and yeah crustle basically covers the weaknesses too and does really well but i'll do the uh, so showcase tomorrow this is a showcase of gyarados being the best safe switch so Obviously not ideal, but um, because I've got an energy lead on this Swampert and it being Shadow, this Earthquake is going to do a hell of a lot of damage. And you can see it almost one-shots it, and now you're going to see it. I still get to the Hydro Cannon as well. So is it is this saying that Sh uh, Shadow Swampert is a Venusaur... Uh, uh, Venusaur? It's a Venusaur counter? Probably not. This is one of those rare rare, rare case scenarios where I managed to actually out, out, outpace the Venusaur. So we'll play to my opponent onto the next game. So Shadow Machamp. So this is one of the reasons why I like Wing Attack, Wing Attack Charizard is because the flying typing does really well against all the counter users. And there's so many teams that either have Machamp in the lead or Toxic in the lead with uh, double bulky Pokemon like, like Lapras and Snorlax. So what I tend to do with this team is always go for the uh, Blastman straight away. And the reason why I'm switching out into my... Uh, Swampert here is because I know my opponent most likely has a Lapras in the back. Uh, not the greatest matchup with the uh, Swampert, obviously. Machamp also hits pretty difficult, like pretty hard against um, 
the Swampert and the counters do add up. So I'm letting it kind of go. My opponent throws a super power, which is totally fine. I've got quite a lot of energy built. Whatever he brings out, I can either Earthquake or Hydro Cannon. Most likely he's gonna come in with his uh, Machamp. You know, Machamp being so ridiculously OP, the, the counters hurt quite a lot. And at that point I was like, you know what, I wanna keep my shields. You know, it's close to a move, it's fine because I can just bring in my Charizard. Charizard having an energy lead or something you know, with shields is pretty busted. And obviously my opponent has a Lapras, the Blastman is gonna come in clutch as well. My opponent switches out into his Talonflame. So having the double water co covers the Talonflames hiding in the back. Talonflames are like, are like one of those Pokemon that tend to kind of scout out initially, make well, the rest of the team scouts out and kind of make sure they're safe. And then Talonflame in the back kind of like comes in and destroys everything, which I'm not a fan of. So having the Gyarados in the back or double water in the back basically just, you know, destroys that tactic completely. And like I said, double water this season is very strong. Uh, and it's always been strong. Water in any league is really strong. But yeah, we'll play to my opponent onto the next game. So another, another thing, so you can see Galvantula, Galvantula in the lead. Um, fairly common as you get more and more higher in the leagues because of all the excel Pokemon running around. So what you can do is if you can just about get to a Dragon Club before your opponent throws, and typically they throw Lunges, which is obviously never great, always go for the Discharge. And what that allows you to do is actually get your first charge move off because Lunge is super resistive and most likely your opponent will always shield and you can actually outpace your opponent to the next uh, the next Dragon Claw because of the way Waltz, which is quite slow, slow, you know, slowly working. And my opponent's uh, shields again because he was scared of me getting into Blastman. He able to farm me down, totally fine. Bolt shields, and now I can just realign my Swamp up with this uh, Galvantula. So the Galvantula matchup is hard because I've got two Pokemon that actually take uh, super effective damage from it. Um, I will shield the first one because I can outpace this uh, Galvantula to the, ne to, the, to the charge move. Um, and I do throw here. I was waiting for him to switch anyway, so I throw on the Glade, totally fine. I've got my Gyarados safe switch now coming back in and look at that Dragon Breath chunking away. Even this Leaf Blade is not gonna be great because of the flying typing. So this is what I'm trying to say. Gyarados has really good coverage for the meta. So, and it's fairly bulky. It does really well against, it does pretty well against Snorlax in the chunky Pokemon. Um, does really well against Kingdra. Like Kingdra can just about get to one move. Um, going for the outrage actually KOs Gyarados, but you know, if you just had shield, like, even if it's an Octazooka, you can just farm it down and have um, a Crunch ready or an Aqua Tail ready. So that, that fast energy generation allows you to get so many charge moves off. So like right now, I've managed to get to two Aqua Tails before going down. And obviously, Obstagoon is quite prevalent in the meta as well. Look, a third one. So. Even with all these, um, Gyarados is able to get to uh, a third um, Aqua Tail. Look at that, he's almost able to take it out. My opponent actually CP ties, brilliant, because now I don't have to worry about this. I can just come in and farm down with my Swampert. Um, but yeah, Gyarados being ranked one, luckily, you know, I was able to get that, but uh, it does really well. My opponent obviously has a Galvantula on the back, got a shield, I don't have to even shield this. Um, there's no point anyway, I can, I can survive this. You know, Shadow Swampert in the Ultra League is pretty thick. Like, it can survive a Hydro Cannon from, from itself, you know, and normally in the Great League it's a bit more squishy, but I really love the Gyarados and Shadow Swampert core. It's my absolute favorite core in the Ultra League. I always like to run it, pretty much my go-to safe core. Um, everybody has their own cores, and I know this team really well because obviously I used it previously before, and off to a great lead here. Obviously, it sucks not having Fire Spin um, against like, you know, Galvantula or the, the Charmers, but uh, it's all okay because Wing Attack generates and just a tiny little bit faster, um, but also does decent damage as well. So now I'm going straight for the Blastman here. I'm expecting my opponent to shield, obviously. I did over, over farm a little bit. Um, they don't always shield the first one. XL uh, Clefable is a super tank. Like that thing can survive a Blastman quite comfortably and not be taken out. It's just not fair. Um, but uh, I'm able to build up to two Blastmans now because I knew I'd be able to survive the ch charm damage and I throw the first one and I get to throw the second one now as well. So this is basically come down to the wire. Totally fine with me because this Blastman is more than enough to take it out. But my opponent actually switched that into an Empoleon to catch that. Perfectly fine because Blastman still hits it really hard. So I switch straight into my Gyarados and what I tend to do is if I go up against the Empoleon Dr Double Dragon Co, I switch out straight into my Gyarados and with Gyarados you can actually get to two crunches uh, before your opponent gets to his two drill pecs and waterfalls and do too much damage and it, and it basically chunks the Empoleon away. Um, so the neutral coverage and damage does, does really well. And look, my opponent actually has a Venusaur in the back. So this is looking, this is looking problematic. Thankfully it's got a shield and I love this matchup because I know my Gyarados can get to a crunch and not be taken out by the first Frenzy Plant. In this case I would be. My opponent's gonna try and, try and farm me down. Um, at this point I am gonna shield because I can get to the Aqua Tail before my opponent gets to a second charge move. Um, and even with this little bit of chip damage, it's gonna be quite, it's gonna be quite a lot. My opponent can't fully farm me down. 
um, actually switches that into his Clefable, which is fine by me again, because now this allows me to farm this Clefable down. So really nice catch by my opponent, really, really nice catch by my opponent, but I'm able to fully farm this down. Um, Shadow Swampert has farming down capabilities with Mudshot, especially the Shadow Form, like I said. Uh, I love to do that, especially with Pokemon with little health. I love coming in with Shadow Swampert and just getting tons and tons of energy. Surprisingly, that Venus will survive the Hydro Cannon, and thankfully that last little mud shot took it out. So I, went for, I, went, I got a 5-0 in this set. Team is incredibly strong. I love this team to bits. One of my favorite teams. You know, Charizard, absolute favorite from the first generation. Swampert, every league, I like to use it. I know these Pokemon really well. And one of, one of the things that I like to do is always use similar Pokemon because it allows you to have your muscle memory in the right place to make the right uh, switches and also to know exactly what you can tank and what you can't. The Ultra League meta is really like small. Uh, it consists of a few really, really good Pokemon. XL Pokemon have come into that mix and is making the league a little bit more problematic, but uh, you don't have to have XL Pokemon to do well. Yes, the higher ups will utilize them and take advantage of the XL Pokemon. That's what Niantic wants. It wants, a high, it wants people that are fully meta to kind of enjoy that and once they climb up the ranks really high the rest of us can use teams that don't require them and still do quite well but this team doesn't need excel pokemon it can take out excel teams pretty comfortably as you've seen in the previous video and it, it's basically just proven itself more than more time and time again so my uh swampert is taking out the charizard totally fine i love all farming with uh, my swampert because everything hates seeing a hydro cannon especially a shadow hydro, hydro cannon and um, i can choose to shield here and i will shield here because then i can outpace my opponent to the next charge move because uh, well i've already got one anyway so how much energy did i gain from that round quite a lot so i'm able to get this next one off and if my opponent shields great I'm, i've got a shield advantage and i should outpace my opponent to the next hydro can because obviously it's five versus five for the first move for both of us and then four for the next one and then five again so i knew that i knew i'd outpace him and obviously my i knew my pokemon's tankiness so now i bring in charizard to kind of just absorb this damage um, it won't be taken out um, from this uh, Night Slash, so I just had to shield, and I know he's got, my opponent's got basically two ready because obviously all that farming he was able to do. Um, I let the next one go through, not enough to take me out, and my opponent actually has a Drifloom in the back. Great, bring it on. Um, this is why I love having Charizard, the Blast Burn is super heavy damage. Everything hates Blast Burn, everything hates Frenzy Plant, everything hates uh, Hydro Cannon. So community moves are busted, so why not use them? And yeah, even Aqua Tail, I say, is quite busted. It's quite a cheap move, and, and it gets Dragon Breath gets to that move really, really quickly. So really nice play, a really nice game to my team. So my, my well played to my opponent, uh, on to the next game. XL Drift Blimp is becoming a problem slightly. So today's battles, I faced up against a lot of XL Ninetales. Oh, I hate it. XL Politoads, hate it. XL Drift Blimps, workable excellent bomb stuff his team kind of has problems i wish i had fire spin but you kind of have to work around it so again another obstacle lead i totally am absolutely fine with them so another thing about this team is how to utilize it correctly you need to get a shield advantage in order to, to win most of your matches so having that blast burn or new potential is really good because once your opponent shields once a two a, a shield advantage on your swampert is basically the key to winning the game my opponent actually has a really good answer in his ambrose uh, really main switch, but this, this is really uncommon. You don't see a, a safe switch um, for us in the back. So because of the, the energy lead I have, I'm actually able to get to a crunch and an aqua tail. This is going to force the shield. So my opponent was fully committed to the farm down. Fully committed to the farm down. So totally fine. I get both my opponent's shields, and now I have quite a good chance of winning this game because obviously Ampharos also doesn't hurt me. Focus Blast. So I decided to come in with my Charizard because I was close to getting to uh, my Dragon Claw and I wanted him to waste a little bit of energy. Um, you know, and thankfully he has to throw again. And because he threw all that energy initially, he's he, this won't be this won't be a Focus Blast. Well, I stand corrected. It was Focus Blast because he's able to. Um, he was able to get extra farm on me, but because but I had two, I had two shields. Who was worried? Um, I don't have to worry about this night slash because you really want to shield the booster night slashes. And I'm all farming here because I don't want my opponent to basically catch on a Pokemon that I don't want to. And also I want energy ready for anything that comes back in um, because Earthquake is going to do quite a lot of damage. But sadly, in this case, it's flipping Venusaur. A Venusaur. Venusaur, like bro, you're supposed to come out to my Gyarados, but yeah, you had the right answers for me. Sadly, in this case, extra shield should have shielded that last night's lash, so that was my mistake. Um, played it a bit too unsafely. I thought maybe you know what, the next Pokemon will have a, a worse charge move. Should really, should really save the shield for that Pokemon, but yeah, it had to be Venusaur, which totally took me by surprise. Had I just come in with Swampert and taken the Focus Blast and shielded it, I'd be fine. I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. I was trying to act fancy and because I think I had the so-called advantage, I was trying to act really smart and yeah, 
I, I played the price, I lost the game, totally fine, well played to my opponent onto the next game, so again, up, up against a really bad lead, Calvantula, so because my opponent was still, like, it's trying to farm me down, I, I was able to get, to, I'm able to get this Blast Burn before I'm, I'm, before I'm taken out, and again, I get both shields from my opponent, which is key to uh, winning a lot of games. And now, I know this is going to be quite problematic, um, because, obviously, Lunge, uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage and i don't want to take too much damage i should really use my shields quite like you know carefully next one i'll let go through because i want to save my shield for anything else in the back um i know i can get to uh, quite a lot of moves and this hydro cannon isn't going to be enough to take out this uh take out this uh thingy so i do undercharge it because i do want to farm it down from here my opponent actually switched that into a skarmory so this is looking pretty rough already um i do i, I need to switch that anyway because my my swamp put was double double uh, debuffed so obviously i'm counting the moves just a sky attack characters can take it pretty comfortably and a bit of lag here which really didn't help um it allowed my opponent to get an extra fast move through and i wasn't fully counting so i get the first aqua tail through and obviously i can't really do too much anyway and i should have really just thrown the energy on the aqua tail there this would have allowed me to farm a little more anyway but it's not looking too great i should have potentially just shield that um but i thought this is totally fine because i've got my swamper swamper gets energy pretty quickly and i still got a shield i've got loads of energy um this one takes it out before he gets to his next move and I'm waiting for his next Pokemon. Out comes uh, a Shadow Swampert. So I'm like, he's gonna try and catch. He's gonna try and catch. Pretty much, he's gonna try and catch. So I gotta shield this, and I'm counting here, but I lose track of I lose track of my counts, and I overform here. Had I thrown a move there, I would have beat my opponent potentially to the next Hydro, hydro Cannon. So because I, I got a little bit like I was waiting for the switch. I was waiting for the switch, but the Galvanic still had a lot more like health than I imagined. I lost count and then yeah I got I got wall switches out. I, I, I lost the game to uh, the Galvantula. My own misplay. Um, I did have the, the energy ready. I should have I should have just thrown it as soon as he threw his first hydro cannon. That would have done quite a lot of damage. But I needed obviously more energy uh, going into the next matches. Totally fine. This stuff happens because not every team is gonna not not you're not gonna win every game are you? So well played to my opponent. Well played. You actually did all out play me completely. So totally fine um still love my team i'm still gonna stick by it and up against a venusaur so like i said i love uh bringing in the gyarados because having charizard in the lead your Ven the venusaur automatically come out because they don't want to face against charizard and because it's not dragon breath charizard it has a really good matchup with wing attack and i can take the first sludge bomb i can potentially take another one probably not probably not i'm not gonna risk it so i'm gonna shield now but i've committed to the full farm down and have loads of energy ready and obviously we were both equal on shields this is totally fine because whatever comes in it's an empoleon i can uh, throw this uh, straight away and uh, get quite a lot of damage off and uh, then switch switch out straight into my own swampert and swampert has pretty good chances of farming down the empoleon because uh, mud shots do quite a lot of damage um and um, i'm able to get to outpace this gengar and um, i get to the second hydro cannon and i take it out and yeah so i can outpace this gengar as well he didn't throw anything for some reason i think he decided to just go for uh, the shadow ball if he had it so had a shield i think he needed to double up his moves there and like i said before uh, i've still got my swamper decently healthy and uh, with this uh, hydro cannon I, I seal the deal so well played to my opponent there as well Onto the next game. I think this is the last game of the set. Uh, really enjoy this team. It's gonna be it's gonna be a shame seeing Ultra League finish because I do like Ultra League a lot. I used to hate it before, but now that I've got a Pokemon built for it, I absolutely enjoy it. My opponent actually has a Dragon Breath Charizard. So in the mirror match, Wing Attack Charizard isn't great against Dragon Breath because Dragon Breath does more damage. Um, but it's totally fine because my my gang, my Garrod having double water basically helps me realign everything better. And because uh, obviously Lapras isn't a bad answer for my uh, uh, Gyarados, I know I can survive. Um, um, uh, a surf here and which i totally do the ice shards do start chunking away a little bit but it's just chip damage i'm able to get to the first crunch um and it is quite a decent amount of chip damage and i know i can outpace to the second crunch and this is what i like also there's another thing i like about gyarados is the neutral damage from crunch is really ideal and it hits you know it can hit a lot of the ghost typing as well which is a really good courage to have um and in dragon breath itself it adds up too so now i can just bring in anything i'm bringing in charizard because um he's gonna have a bad matchup against uh his other charizard so i do take the first surf i'm trying to commit to the farm down i am counting so i'm counting all the way up to the fourth uh, ice shot and then throwing this uh, dragon claw because i know i want to maximize my energy and my opponent comes back out with his charizard and in the back is the little muck gg you know why because shadow swamper is broken yes i know my team counters swamper and uh, venusaur but i love shadow swamper you know to fight evil you gotta use evil yourself 
and my opponent can throw any move he wants at me. I've got two shields, don't have to worry because Hydro Cannon is going to be a beast against both, both these Pokemon, and there's nothing really you can do. Um, there's nothing really you can do. Yes, he might be able to, uh, if I don't manage my energy correctly, I'll take the first one because my I want to maximize my energy and I know I can survive one. He can't fast move me down. Um, and this next Hydro Cannon is going to go through and this allows me to actually farm it down from here. Totally fine. And now I've got two Hydro Cannons ready for this Charizard and he can't drag him with me down in time. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have a move ready. Even if he does, I've got a shield. I've got my own Charizard as well. A lot closer than I imagined. So maybe not, uh, you know, Saving the sh same as you all see it made, made sense, but uh, yeah, should have used it, could have used it, um, but sure, could have, you know, that is uh, my set. So I went 3 2 in this one, but I absolutely love this team. If you have a problem with Venusaur and Swampert, please use uh, Gyarados as your safe switch. It's the best safe switch in season seven. Really love Gyarados, really surprised me when I started using it last season, and I think it was the key to my success hitting Legend last season. So, guys, if you are struggling, Use Gyarados, absolute beast, love the Pokemon, love this team, no extra Pokemon required. It does really well against all the, the meta currently, and uh, yeah, best luck to you guys, and uh, hopefully we can enjoy the Great League or the Master League. That's out now. Thank you. Take care.